once people realize that it's not just a rock, that it's a living organism uh, that is super important to our survival, making those small choices in our everyday lives to help protect them and restore them are, are pretty simple choice. Aloha, I'm Heather Howard with the Coral Reef Education Institute. Corals are a living animal. They uh, live symbiotically with a plant algae called zooxanthellae, and that symbiosis is important to each of the organism's survival. The Coral Reef Education Institute is born from a love of the ocean. Our mission is to educate as many people as possible about the negative human impacts on our oceans and what the solutions are to those issues. The Big Island is actually a stronghold for healthy coral reefs. Because our island is the youngest of all, we live and work on the Big Island, but we also work and teach on all the main Hawaiian islands. In 2015, in Hawaii, we had a massive bleaching event. Um, it lasted 18 consecutive weeks. We lost 50% of our coral cover statewide. It prompted us to start the Coral Reef Education Institute in hopes that we can protect and restore coral reefs in Hawaii. Coral bleaching happens when the ocean temperature rises and the symbiotic relationship is no longer beneficial. So the animal requires the algae for, for a food source. The food comes from the photosynthesis of the algae. The algae creates a byproduct of glucose during the photosynthesis and feeds that glucose to the animal. So when coral bleaching happens, the ocean temperature rises, so the animal expels the algae out of its cells, causing it to look bleached or stark white. The algae actually gives the animal its color. So food, color, uh, and survival, basically. So that symbiotic relationship is super, super important. Fifty to eighty percent of the world's oxygen comes from our ocean. Coral reefs actually rival rainforests in the amount of oxygen they produce and the amount of carbon they fix. They're home to 25 percent of all marine species. It's basically the nursery for all of the marine environments. Um, it also creates tourism. Coral reefs and the ocean activities brings about three billion dollars of revenue to our state annually. It also protects our shorelines from erosion. So coral reefs actually stop the wave energy from hitting the shore. About 97% of that wave energy is, is dissipated. So there's all kinds of medicines that are coming out of coral reefs right now for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. There's lots of benefits to coral reefs. I am not a scientist. I'm a practitioner. Uh, I've been trained in coral uh, propagation, coral reef management. I became passionate about coral reefs when I saw the corals die in front of my own eyes, and I needed to learn more. The Hawaii people, they have an ancient chant called the Kumulipo. And in the Kumulipo, in line 15, it talks about the coral polyp being one of the very first things to come out of the darkness. The Hawaiian people and the Polynesian culture believe that the, the rock of the coral actually embodies a god. And so from the beginning of that, the coral polyp has been highly regarded by the Hawaiian people and is and highly protected by law. Really, the, the threat to corals and what causes corals to die is climate change, uh, land-based pollution, overpopulation, chemicals entering our ocean environment, human impacts, basically. So the thing is now to find a balance between us and our environments and learning some simple things that you can do when you're purchasing products at the store, um, when you're eating food, when you're participating in ocean activities, all of those things you can do just a bit differently and it'll help protect our environment rather than harm the environment. Chemicals from sunscreens disrupt the DNA of the coral polyp. 
inhibiting their ability to reproduce and is harmful to coral larvae. An easy thing you can do is just to buy reef safe sunscreen. Reef safe sunscreen has two active ingredients. It's either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. If it has anything else besides those two things as the active ingredients, it is not reef safe. So it's really important the choices that we make before we get in the ocean or the chemicals that we put down our drain, all of that stuff that comes from the watershed from your house, whatever you're wearing when you're showering, the chemicals in your laundry, soap, shampoos, cleaning products, all of that stuff leaches into our watersheds and into our ocean. That's what we're here for. Our whole mission is to educate people. If we can teach people what corals are, why they are so important, and some simple things that you can do to protect and restore them, it makes it easy to make mindful choices um, in your everyday life to help preserve our oceans and our land environment. We need each of you to participate, come and take our courses, Go to our website, onecoralreef.org, to learn more about what corals are, why they're important, what causes them to die, some simple things that you can do to make a big difference. Thank you for watching. Contact us to learn more information. We look forward to meeting you in person. Aloha.